Hello, it's Joe Glines, and this is a quick review of how to write an Outlook email with a hotkey. Um, so in my script here, I'll get rid of some stuff we don't need. Uh, this is just, this just reloads and, and runs, executes the script. Um, if you know a hotkey, so check that out. So, hotkey for... So this will make it, make it run the below, and the one above just has it to reload in case I make changes. Um, first, so I haven't built in to say, hey, check if Outlook's open. If Outlook was not open, it would not work, because I'm not telling it to, to go create an Outlook um, existence entirely. This is activating the existing um, version of Outlook, and connects to it and stores an object. Um, and then I create, in here, I'm creating a mail item, and it's this this line right here, this number two is a constant which tells it to, to make it an HTML email. And then right here I have it saying um, who's it getting sent to, right? So and I just put an example here where if you want more than one email address in the two, you can use the semicolon to separate it. Um, or you can put the CC or reply to which is different. So let's say here I wanted um We'll just use one of the above, right? So Joe Junk email. I'm going to uncomment that. So now I'll have a reply to when it generates it. And then I wanted to put in the time of like, well, when was it sent? So this t this is creating, restoring pretty version of date hash time. Well, I guess it is just date, isn't it? Yeah, have date. And um, now this is where whatever I want the subject line to be. So this is the again this is the and notice it it's everywhere, right? This is the object the mail item object that we're manipulating, controlling at passing parameters to. Um and so here from the subject line, this is gonna be the this is gonna say email on and then it's gonna put in this variable with the date time stuff. In here I have the note for subject line. And then between here and here um, is the the body of the email, and so this syntax is a little funky to play with because it's you're writing HTML inside of, um, and this is all one. Um, basically, think of it as this is an object you're populating, and this is text that goes in it, um, and and especially here. So because I'm putting in a variable inside this thing that has quotes but is HTML, the only this is the only one that's to me really kind of tricky is to make sure you put a quote. And then you put um, a paren and the variable and paren quote to get back out of it and get back into your text. Um, and then this just makes HTML here um, showing, let's see, so you got a couple line breaks and then changing the color of the text to black. I'm going to have any questions. And then inserts um, a link to my email address but it makes it pretty, so this will be my name, will be hyperlinked to it, and then a phone number. Um, if you wanted to attach a file, you could you could come in here and put in, this is where you put in the path to the file, and it would actually attach it to the email. I don't want to do that. Um, this line will tell it to actually display to you if you want to see the email, or if you didn't want to see it, you can actually comment that out, and it'll just, well, actually, nothing would happen if you didn't, if you didn't, um, open up, oops, open up this one, like this one will automatically send it, so it doesn't just sit there, it'll it'll deploy it, and this one, um, apparently, from reading from my notes, I haven't used it in a long time, it creates a draft version in the default folder, uh, which is just handy, if, you, if that's what you're trying to do, so let me get back to the display, I'm going to save it, reload it, and now when I run it, you're going to notice it just pops up here, or doesn't, I'll add display, what, line 10, so I'm looking here, line 10, did I, oh, oh, there, and then, and then of course it goes, so before I look at this, I'm going to go back and look at what was on my line 10, boy, that looks okay, I'll just comment it out, let's try it again, alright, I'm not sure, I'll have to go look at that, um, notice here, so, here is the, um, the two that we put in there, I'm doing this Friday, February 12th, and, and then again in my body, so here's where, here, let me get, you know what, let me get all of this, and now I'll go back to here, maximize this, so 
here email on today date right that's what was populating this um, in the body so here notice a red bar that's I didn't mention that but the h2 right that's a nice little banner there I put another one below it just I like being able to manipulate the HTML and make it a pretty email instead of just a text version um, especially if you're sending it to clients on a regular basis it, it makes it look much nicer also the uh, your signature stuff um, and that's basically it, right? Makes it super easy. So let me do an example here, um, just so you can see. So I am going to, and let me also, you know what? Oh, it'll show up um, on my Gmail when it comes through, um, and it'll, it'll be a notification on the side here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna disable display, and I'm gonna enable the send. So now I'm gonna save it, reload it. Now when I hit this launch button you're not going to see anything, right? Let me do it because it, it'll probably take a second to deploy. So it just deployed it, but watch here in a second. I will bet you money this um, Gmail will come up as a notification. There it goes. So here it is. And now if I go to my Gmail account, let me bring it over here, you'll see it had just come through. Um, oh, and it knows it's me, Gmail. All right, and here's my email, right? came through. So it's uh it's pretty easy um there's a lot of other things you could do with outlook and i got rid of there were some other settings if you want to have it have a delayed send and things and change the priority um, um very customizable um, and you don't have to send html I, I just prefer it but this is just a quick example of how to how to create an outlook email if outlook's open just just don't forget if you don't have outlook already open um, oh here's one other gotcha um if you, you don't let me close outlook and see if see if this will still work because I am curious I've run into this so let me reload it so it didn't work because there was no outlook running um, before I had done this and I said okay create go create and actually outlook um, existence and then create the email and and do all the stuff and send it and it wouldn't send and what happened was the the outlook email object that I would create even though I create, I opened Outlook with my program and created it and sent it. It happened so fast, Outlook wasn't open long enough to actually go check my emails and deploy them. And so, what I found was like, you know what? It's just better off to um, fully open Outlook first, let it sit there and deploy. Um, and I just couldn't find a good way other than with just timing of keeping it open and then closing it. And and I mean, 99% of the time I have Outlook open anyway. So that's it. Thanks.